Hey guys, Editor Jamie here. After I finished recording this episode, I realized that my microphone was really quiet, which means the game audio overwhelmed my voice. I apologize for this, and I'll fix this in the next episode. Thanks everyone, enjoy the video. Hello everyone, welcome to Unavowed. This is probably one of my favorite point and click adventure games. Uh, not good with intro, so let's just get right into it. May you be snatched away from this place! You shall no more dare to deceive, persecute, and torment! As smoke is driven away, as wax melts before the fire, so shall you be driven away, unclean spirit! Uh, Silence! On? Now answer true! Are you demon, man, or woman? Your power over her mind is waning. Release her now! Release her before I am forced to destroy you! Remember! You are human! Remember! Tell us, the before the demon regains control, your name! Tell us your name! Did you hear that, evil spirit? She knows herself. She is yours no longer. Now your past. Tell me something about your past. Your profession. Quick. I'm not telling you anything. Yes. She's beginning to remember. Born to the stage. Born to play roles. Now the role of yourself has been taken by another. Take it back. Fight it! Remember who you are! Remember! I like the jazz. Brooklyn, under the Brex Theater, one year ago. Oh, hey. It's you. Uh, shouldn't you be rehearsing right now, Suri? Rehearse what? The show? Not much point in that, is there? <laughs> Not anymore. The show's done. Kaput. Our fearless directors had a meltdown. Everyone's walked out. Only Mori is left. I think that choice was like, it was our show. Meltdown? Boom. What happened? It all blew up. It was a sight to see. Whatever. Show's done and good riddance. If you want to go and deal with Mr. Prima Donna, go ahead. Serena's one of your co-performers. What she's doing out here? And in costume, no less. Mount Olympus, Mount Olympus, and all its mat, mate painted glory. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. Mori's been part of the troupe almost as long as you. He looks upset. Huh? Oh, it's you. I guess you heard. Yeah, I heard. Are you all right? No, 
I'm not all right. Nothing's all right. Zack's gone off the deep end. He's not coming back. I mean, he's had his moments before, but this... Why, is Zack all right? No. No, he's not all right. No, he's ten times worse. I blame you for this, you know. We need a writer and a director, you said. My old friend Zack does both, you said. What the hell were you thinking? Uh, what does Zack do now? Nothing. Everything. Ugh. Zack says the play isn't good enough. He wants to do rewrites. Rewrites? We open next week! He's added four major characters. He's changed over half my lines. Serena's too. And he's still not done. He says the ending needs to be more impactful. That doesn't sound like Zach. Well, maybe you didn't know this guy like you thought you did. I mean, damn it, I don't know what to do. You've got seniority here. You know Zach. What do you think? We use the old script. I suggested that myself. Zack won't have it. He threatened to sabotage the show if we did it without him. He's not right in the head. He won't leave. He's been cooped up in the office for a week. He hasn't showered. He doesn't even come out to eat. We don't know what to do. You know him the best. Could you talk to him? I'll try, I guess. Thanks, I'll, I'll just be here. Small office. Go away, Maury! I'm not Maury, it's me. Huh? Oh, it's you. Sorry, can't talk. I'm really, really busy. So I hear you are doing some rewrites. Oh, I've gone beyond rewrites now. I'm slashing the whole thing. I mean, what was I thinking? Killing off the hero's father in the first act? He only has two lines. He needs more scenes, more engagement, so when he dies, we'll feel it. And that's important, getting people to feel. I understand that now. Maury's worried about you. I told him a million times I'm fine, just leave me alone. Okay, angry. Making this show the next big thing, man. It's like, it's like, it's like I was just going through the motions before, but now I get it. I can't stop! Not now! You know what inspiration's like! I have to keep going before it's gone. I can't stop for anything. So I can't talk now. Sorry. You look awful, Zach. Hey, I didn't ask you to come here. Feel free to leave. Bye. I'll be right back. This month's calendar. Next week's opening night is circled in red. Light switch. Oh, hello. I didn't realize you had company. Company? Oh, you mean Kelly? She's the reason for this, for everything. So what part is she playing? Part? You think she's an actress? No, she's no actress. She's my muse. I searched desperately for her and she came. I'd hoped she'd give me a few ideas, maybe push me in the right direction, but this, I've never been this inspired, I'm on fire. Please, leave us alone. Okay. A luminous woman sits here, gazing inscrutably at Zack. Hello, a pleasure to meet you. I'm Jamie. Just who are you? I am referred to as Calliope. I am inspiration made flesh, a conduit to the creative energy of the universe. With that energy, I fill and sustain Zachary. He will either master that energy or be consumed by it. What are you talking about? I believe I made myself perfectly clear. Zachary is in need of inspiration. I am providing it in ample measure. I provide a service. I appear only when asked. Zachary had been creatively blocked for a very long time. So naturally, he called upon me. Whatever you are doing, you need to stop. And why would I desire such a thing? Do not interfere. 
We are connected to the creative force. Any disruption could break it. Okay. These scissors were jammed through a bit, through a book, in a fit of rage. I didn't receive scissors. Move mouse cursor to the top. Okay. Uh, put those back. Please stop waving those around. It is distracting. Distracting. Gross. Whatever that was, you're not picking it up. Okay. Zach's old reference books have been thrown into a haphazard pile. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. Come on, you've barely spent two minutes in there. You got us into this mess, you get us out. Well, it's been a bit longer than two minutes, but I see you. These flowers have grown progressively more chaotic since Stack took over. The old computer fan is screaming. Zack is wor really working it hard. Do you have anything else? Your to say? presence is disturbing the flow of creative energy. Please leave. Just leave me alone. I need to focus. What are you, my mother? I can't stop now! You of all people should understand! When your muse has you, you just can't stop! You're not yourself, Zack. Eat a Snickers. You don't know anything about me. I see it now. You and Maury and everyone else, you're all hacks. Neither of you have the guts to do what I've done. And what exactly is that? To dig deep to reach into the very depths of your own soul and pull it out! No, you can't do that because there's nothing inside you at all! I mean no disrespect. I like you. You're a great actress. When these rewrites are done and this show goes to Broadway, you'll thank me. Everyone is gone, Zack. Nobody wants to be a part of this. They left? They abandoned me? I'm doing this to help you! Can't you all see that? You killed the play is what you've done. Killed the play? I'm trying to save it! Aren't I? The script was great as it was. Why mess with it? You... you really think so? I mean, you're a good actor. You might be, you know, acting. I've been a real asshole, haven't I? You've all put so much work in. You all really believe in this, in me. I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. Don't apologize to me, apologize to everyone else. Of course. Jesus. How long have I been sitting here? We can still do this. I can still do this. I just need to call everyone, tell them I'm okay, that I'm an idiot. Speaking of, could you get rid of this book for me? Book? Yeah, this book. It's how I found my muse, Callie. I I'm not sure how it works, but it did. Take it, hide it, don't give it back until after the show is over. Uh-oh. 
Zachary, I am not so easily dismissed. Who's dismissing? Once the critics destroy us, there'll be plenty of time for rewrites. Oh. Was that completely necessary? <sighs> so, what's the story? Well, why are you staring at me like that? Oh, Jesus Christ. Ugh. Your chosen vessel remembers. You are no longer welcome, wicked spirit. The hands you control will no longer do your bidding. In the name of myself, my witness, and the soul whom you hold captive, I cast you out! Is it really that easy? Gotcha! Ah! Eli! No, no it isn't. Stand back! Jeez, Mandy, put that sword away. The spirit is gone. That lady's harmless. Could you put that sword down and tell me what just happened? See? She doesn't even remember how she got here. Looks like her memory got scrambled during the exorcism. Scrambled? What? It happens. I apologize for the threat. It has been a long night. Please, come with us, and we will explain everything. I'm not gonna be antagonistic about it. Fine, right behind you. Thank you. Gratitude, at least. This way, please. Look, she's a... We've had a rough night. Go easy on us, okay? Yeah. Just come on downstairs. When you're ready, we'll explain everything. We're the good guys. Honest. That sounds very suspicious. Judging by the view, you're somewhere in Brooklyn. Not too far away from your old theater. Okay, might as well just go inside. Oh shit. Do take your time. Soak it all in. It's like... I... I want to be as family friendly as I possibly can, but it's like, I don't really care, so if, like, if I swear, I apologize, but it's whatever. Impaled straight through the heart, and hanging like a ragdoll. That's brutal. This man is slashed in several places. You can only hope he went quickly. Yeah, I, I feel like this is like, brutal ways to go. This man's face has been beaten beyond recognition. Jesus Christ, what did I do? At least the rain is keeping the crowds away. A large mess of debris blocks the front door. That's the front door. So, how is that memory of yours? Anything spring to mind? What happened to this guy? Jesus Christ. No, I don't remember anything. A small mercy, perhaps. For you, at least. These innocents, innocents of this city who I have sworn to protect, were destroyed by your hands. Oh. By me? That's impossible. No, that's not true. It's impossible. I think you'll find your definition of impossible is about to change. You were possessed by some kind of demon. It made you do things. You do not remember? One year ago, you murdered that actor Mori in cold blood. And that rider. Wait, Zack and Mori? I killed them? Your body did, if that's what you mean. That theater's been a condemned site ever since. The story was top news for weeks. Every district in the city was searching for you. As were we. And it is fortunate that we found you first. These people on the floor, torn apart using your bare hands. The rain washed away most of the blood from your hands, but it will always be there, whether you can see it or not. Oh, 
blood on the hand is like metaphorical. This is horrible is probably the obvious choice, so I'm gonna go with it. It is good that you think this way. The demon who possessed you? It would not. Listen to me. These feelings you've got right now, the guilt, the anger, hold on to that. It means you're human. You'll need that going forward. Speaking of going... Yeah, we need to scoot. Did you put up a veil, Mandana? I did, and it will confuse the police long enough for us to get away, but we should not tarry. I'd love to chat and get to know you better, but we need to vamoose. Hey, Jesus. Yeah, it's like... Oh, I just realized the hand in like, the foreground. What the hell? Fresh air at last. It's been like... A padlock. Minutes. Of course. Can you pry it off? I am tired, Eli. My strength ebbed hours ago. Perhaps she can help us. Could you find something to pry this off? Yeah, oh, no. anything big or heavy should do. A deep puddle fills the cement floor of this alley. A dumpster, open and exposed to the element. There's probably something in the dumpster. Trash and more trash. A large spool of copper wire, that's probably useful. A large stained tablecloth, also useful, probably. Okay, I don't think there's anything else here. This pipe looks a bit corroded, but sturdy. Oh, You've got to be kidding me. This place, much has changed. Creature, who are you and what is your purpose here? Purpose? You invited me. You're mistaken. I was summoned across the void hey, get out. by you. I say again, you are mistaken. You know I speak the truth. I know what you are, Jin Child. I know you cannot speak false. Nevertheless, a beacon appeared. A path was formed. I merely followed it. Nobody here has done such a thing. Um, that might not be entirely true. Eli? On the roof, I used a lot of power. Probably enough to call the attention of, well, something like this. Neophyte mage, playing with forces you don't understand. A mage enough to burn you into a greasy s- Oh. You lie. I know a falsehood when I hear one. I can smell nothing? your power, Mageling. You have not left. Okay, so... And you, Jin Child, are so fatigued you can barely stand. That may be true, but stand we shall. Since we're being so honest with each other, you don't look too healthy yourself. The journey here. That was creatively done. Um, yeah. Nice work. What the hell is this thing? We cannot say for sure. This creature is from across the void. There are so many that they defy categorization. It's a ligamental. A what? It's made up of ligaments and sinew. It fits. Very well. This creature is a... ligamental. <sighs> I live in the void. I've never seen this creature Such before. Such agony. What manner of pain is this? About 10,000 volts. It hurts, unlike anything I've ever experienced. Please, I got hit by lightning 20 minutes ago. Don't be such a baby. I... That stench. It can't be. You, a demon spawn on this plane?
There was a demon inside me, but not anymore. The corruption is still thick within you. Why do you come here to torment me? There is no demon. I got rid of it. You are a fool. The corruption lingers. Creature, you are at our mercy. Return home through the void at once. You know I cannot. I used all my energy to get here. I will not survive the return journey without food. I must feed on human flesh. In this world, nothing else will sustain me. This thing eats people? Only on this plane of existence. I do not believe it has a choice. What about the dead bodies inside? What? That's... Ugh. Does the demon spawn speak true? There is meat inside this building? Yes. Yes, there is. Slaughtered only hours ago. Fresh meat. That is perfect. Let me consume my fill, and I will leave you in peace. I... I do not think I can do that. It would draw too much attention. The police are bound to notice. Not to mention the victims inside are innocent. They have families. Loved ones. They'll want closure. I am innocent too, Mageling. Not the you summoned me. I merely answered. Would you kill me just for that? It speaks true, Eli. What is your decision? Wait, you're putting this on me? Yes. I... I'm not the one that has to cut that thing's throat. I can't decide that for you. Um... It was your magic that brought it here. The choice is yours. You're the one with the sword. You are the one who summoned it. You've got seniority. Then I delegate this choice to you. Oh, now you suddenly... She's right. End it. Uh, of course. Die, creature. You shall claim no flesh this night. Ectoplasmic frame. Like all void creatures, it will dissolve away in the gutter. I suppose... it is for the best. It was the right thing to do. I know. We did good work tonight. We all did. Agreed. You showed immense fortitude, especially for one in your... situation. Situation probably is gonna be like... Like, yeah, you were possessed by a demon. You killed many people. So I can go home and I was like, of course not. You're a wanted criminal. So... And this one's gonna be that, so I'll just go sit the way. You wanna tell her, or should I? One year has passed since your possession. You were wanted by the police for many violent crimes. You certainly can't go back to acting. Indeed. Although there might be a new role you can play. The demon that infested you? That creature we just defeated? Mere taste of what is out there. And they just keep coming. We need manpower. Look, you saw us in action tonight. It's obvious we need all the help we could get. Just as it is obvious your old life is gone. But we can help. We can give you a new identity. A new life. A new purpose. Normally there's a vetting process, but you more than proved yourself tonight. So, what say you? Will you join us? I, I just like how like a year has passed and I'm still wearing the same outfit. Uh... I, I think saying I will need to think about it, it's like, you don't really have a choice, and this one just me, so I'll just say count me in. Thank God. Some new blood at last. Uh, sorry. That sounded much less creepy in my head. Yeah, I was gonna We are that. all tired. We can find suitable sleeping arrangements back at our headquarters. Sleeping sounds great. By the way, my name's Eli. This is Mandana. Welcome to the Unavowed, my friend. Trust me, your life will never be the same. I really do like this game. This game is a special place in my heart. A 
faded old poster of a heavy metal band, Axis of Weevil. A framed photograph hangs on the wall near the bed. There's certainly some eclectic reading matter in this bookcase. Outside, you can see the hustle of downtown nightlife on the street below. Well, it's raining, so I don't know what hustle there is. A whole pot of espresso, just for you. Somehow, it's always hot. No? Okay. A little brass elephant, elephant with a memento of Siam written on the underside. An empty, stained old sea chest. Okay, so I'll go down. I forgot that she was a gin. Or like a genie. Sharp little knives dot the surface of this target. I might as well just toss it. You are awake. Did you sleep well? I had some odd dreams. Hmm. Yes, that is quite normal from what I am told. Introduction to the supernatural world can often have unpredictable effects on the mundane mind. It may take some time for you to process it all. Who are you calling mundane? Forgive the term. No insult is intended, I assure you. After your actions last night, the word mundane hardly applies to you. I think you are going to make this transition just fine. And this is good, because there is so little time to waste. My father Kalash is waiting to speak to you in the room beyond the red drapes. When you are ready, seek him out. In the meantime, relax and explore the facility. I will be here if you have any questions. Mrs. Looking Weapons decorate the wall. This helmet has been bobbed to, to a gleaming shine. This bottle looks incredibly ancient and is engraved with indecipherable characters. Okay, my well keep talking yes. to her. Can we talk about the unavowed? Certainly. What is your question? What does the unavowed do exactly? We are peacekeepers. We protect the mundane world from the threats of the supernatural. We help who we can, destroy ones we must and recruit those who are willing. With you, I suppose we did all three. How long has the Unavowed been around? As a whole, for thousands of years. But the New York branch is only 400 years old. As long as there is need of us, we will be here. How come I've never heard of you before? We do not exactly advertise our presence. We prefer it that way. But the truth is, the last century has seen a diminishing need for our services. Things have certainly changed. Changed? Yes. Supernatural threats have been escalating. It happened so suddenly, we were caught unprepared. We had become complacent. We have not been recruiting. You are the first new recruit in decades. The first of many, we hope. I'd like to ask about something. I will do my best to answer. I have some questions about yourself. Me? What do you want to know? So, you are a genie? The term is Jin. And yes, on my father's side. And no, I do not grant wishes. Well, then you're not a Jin. No, I'm kidding. How long have you been with the Unavowed? When was this city founded? 1624, yes, I was just a child, but it was around that time. You are 400 years old? 418. No, 19. My birthday was last month. It is difficult to keep track, but Father always remembers. I'd like to ask about something else. I will do my best to answer. Can you tell me about Eli? Eli is my partner and a dear, dear friend. We have saved each other's lives more often than we can count. You and he have much in common. He was once mundane, like yourself. I would recommend asking him about his transition. It might help with your own. About last night. Last night, yes. You gave us quite the chase. We know nothing about the demon that was inside you, 
but it was a wily thing. I didn't hurt you, did I? You hurt nobody. Your demon hurt several. It was taunting us, dancing just out of our reach, slaughtering whomever it could. But we got it in the end. Regardless of what happens next, we stopped it. We can all take comfort in that. Last night, we know it was, but we, we can all... Okay, I wanna... Oh, I was gonna... Uh, pursue the other options, but I can't. Thank I'll you. I'll leave you to it. An old photo of a quaint suburban house. An old color photo of Eli and Mandana. Amanda, I don't know how to pronounce that. An old wedding photo hangs on this wall. Some precisely calculated fireball trajectory. A black and white photo of two young girls. A scrawled list of obscure for formulas. It's all Greek to you. An old black and white photo of a man at a, de at a desk. Fire, extinguisher Fire extinguishers for wise precaution. I don't know why my brain stopped. There's not a single singe mark on either his fingers or hat. Hey! Don't surprise a fire mage like that. Didn't see me <laughs> Bad idea. Anyway, hi. You settling in okay? I'm not gonna say weird. This place is pretty cool. Yeah, I guess it kind of is. Where else can you see a guy throw fire without paying for it? But seriously, it took me a while to get used to this stuff. It's not gonna happen for you overnight. But you'll get there. Faster than you think. Anyway, I'm sure you want to walk around. I'll be here if you have any questions. Could I ask you a few questions first? I don't see why not. Can we talk about the Anabad? I know a little bit about that. What do you want to know? Okay, it's the same thing. Sure. I'm curious about yourself. I guess if we're gonna work together, we should know each other. Ask away. How long have you been with the Unavowed? Since the Nixon administration. I'm, uh, older than I look. Just how old are you? If you must know. I'm 92. It's the magic. Keeps me young. No surgery required. You're 92? Really? Yeah. It... It is what it is, okay? I'm a mage. We live long lives. And a story. Why do you live down here? Why do you think? Fire mage here. I could easily burn this place to the ground if I'm not careful. I needed a place to practice, and a room insulated with stone was the obvious choice. Besides, I don't feel the cold, so it's quite cozy down here. So you're a wizard? Ooh, never wizard. use the word wizard. It's a social faux pas or something. I'm a mage, with a capital M. The capital is also important. Is it? That's what the books tell me. I never actually met another mage to find out. Doesn't that fire hurt? Nope, kind of tingles, but that's it. It's kind of like playing with light, at least when it touches my flesh. Clothes, though, I can burn them clear off and I won't even notice. Took about a decade and a dozen indecent exposure arrests before I managed to make my clothes fireproof. Madonna told me you used to be mundane, like me? Someone's been telling tales out of school, huh? I used to have a pretty normal life. Then one day I set my office on fire, with my mind. Then stuff happened and Mondana found me. She brought me here. The rest is, well, history. Stuff happened? Yep. What kind of stuff happened? I bared my soul enough for one day. Barely even know you. Let's talk about something else. Okay. Sure. About last night. You had time to process it? I know I have. To be honest, I'm just glad the exorcism worked. It took four days of concentration to prepare that spell. I gave it everything I had. Four days? Well, yeah. When you deal with demons, you don't leave anything to chance. 
Not to mention lightning. If I hadn't prepared, it could have fried you. Not to mention me. I just wish I hadn't summoned that... thing. I know it was an accident, but we made the right call. We couldn't let it eat those people, even if they were dead. So I'm satisfied with how everything turned out. You had time to pro to be. I just I we couldn't. Okay, it's the same. Right. Thing. See you around. So move forward. Oh hello. I'll look around first. The colorful painting of a mother and child. A ship in a bottle hangs in a place of honor above the door. It's either a Tiffany lamp or a very good replica. A blue-green crystal glowing with a mysterious inner light. The spirits in these bottles are the drinking kind, at least you hope. This bottle emits a faint hum. Okay, I think that's everything. So I'll talk to him. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're the new one, aren't you? For a long time, I did not recognize that voice, but it's actually Posey D on YouTube. Did not know that. It was either this or get arrested. Yes, free will. It can be more trouble than it's worth. As for me, I am Kalash. I am a jinn of the ancient kingdom, and I run this branch of the unavowed. And you? You were possessed. How'd you let that happen? It was a book. I touched it, and then... Sloppy. Sloppy. Such a thing would have been unthinkable once. In my day, even a newborn babe had wits enough to leave books of demonic evil alone. Mundanes today don't know they're born. The world has gotten soft. Needs toughening up. How tough are you, new girl? Welcome to the Salty Spittoon. How tough are you? I'm an actor. I do all my own stunts. Got the scars to prove it. You compare fighting the forces of darkness to play acting with wooden swords? No, no. You have yet to experience your true crucible, but it will come. Oh yes, it will come. At any rate, we have much to discuss and much to do. Settle in. Talk to the others. Get the lay of the land. I will call our meeting when you are ready. Well, I've already talked to all of them, so I am hmm? ready. What is it? You ready to start the meeting? I might know a thing or two about that. Okay, it's the same thing as well, the other ones. Well, spit it out. I'd like to ask you about some people we know. I do not indulge in idle gossip. If you want to know of someone, ask them. Okay, call them. Indeed. The time for waiting is past. Father, you met our latest recruit? Yes. I admit she doesn't look like much, but we'll see what this life makes of her. We were all neophytes once, Kalash. Most of us, Mage Beckett. Most of us. Getting to that. I have read the reports on your last mission. Mage Beckett, is it true you summoned a void creature? Yes, by accident, I swear. Irrelevant. Magic is unpredictable. I understand this. What I don't understand is why you killed the thing, a sentient being whose only crime was being summoned by you. I was going to eat people. We had no choice. That choice has consequences. Word will get back to its people. There will be a reckoning of some kind. I hope the two of you are prepared to deal with it when it comes. Yeah, I, I knew. Technically, it wasn't my idea. Because I was like, what about the people inside? But I'll, I'll take responsibility for it. That may be, but you had no authority over them. It was their choice to make. Father, regardless of our choices, the Void Creature is gone. We have a more pressing concern. Yes, you let the demon escape. Your mission was a failure. Uh... Wait, the demon is 
still out there? Yes, just waiting to find another hapless victim. No disrespect. Sir, she was a big help. Help you would not have needed if you achieved your primary goal. I almost did. I was so close. I had it contained, but it was stronger than I expected. I see. This is becoming distressingly commonplace. Nevertheless, Eli speaks the truth. We underestimated the threat. Then that will have to be sufficient. And now to the next item at hand. Your next mission. So soon? I only just got here. The forces of darkness will not wait for you to get your sea legs. And neither can we. I have detected void activity in the East Village, somewhere close to Aster Place. You are to travel there, determine the cause of the disturbance, and neutralize it. Void activity? Activity from beyond the void. Do try and keep up. Are you sure she's ready to go out into the field so soon? These are dangerous times. Dark forces are coming. We don't have the time for traditional training. If she isn't able to handle it immediately, we might as well kill her now. Trial by fire. Sink or swim. Do or die. You want to prove yourself to the unavowed, new girl? Now is your chance. Meeting adjourned. Well, I guess that settles that. Trial by fire? I know, right? If anyone's gonna do a fire pun, it should be me. Oh, I didn't even realize anyway, it was a fire we're ready when you are. Okay. This imposing door leads down to the street.